Tips for getting good sleep is definitely something that I feel confident talking about because I get a great quality of sleep every night. Good sleep isn't just about the amount of sleep, but it's also about the quality of your sleep. Benjamin Franklin has a quote that I love that says, early to bed and early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy and wise. And I especially love it because I'm an early bird. Night owls, I'm so sorry, but there is so much truth to this quote. Because if you're going to bed early, you're going to be getting enough sleep, you're going to be waking up early and you're going to be productive in the mornings. I myself am a grandpa. I go to bed at 9.30 at night. I know, don't judge me. But my quality of sleep is amazing. And what is often said is that the most important thing is to have a consistent sleep routine at the same time that you go to bed and that you wake up, even including weekends. I don't follow that exactly, especially if I've got something on, but my sleep times are fairly consistent and it keeps me in a good rhythm. Another thing that I would say is be smart about napping. If you're going to have a nap during the day, nap early afternoon and for a shorter period of time. One thing I used to do before I burnt out was I'd have power naps even in the car at lunchtime at work for 10 or 20 minutes. Um, you want to avoid having long naps in the afternoon or after work, especially if you notice they have an impact on your sleep. Another important thing is to make sure that you control your exposure to light. The brain secretes more of a hormone called melatonin when it's dark, and this is what makes you sleepy. When it's light, it secretes less and it keeps you more alert. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that during the day, something that's so good for sleep is actually getting outside during the day in direct sunlight and wherever you're working to have a lot of natural light coming in so you have that exposure to the light and you're training your brain in that way. When you're going to bed, what you want to do as you're winding down is to make it as dark as possible. And if you're looking at any screens, make sure that they're on some sort of night mode. But it's recommended that you don't look at screens one to two hours before bedtime because that will play with the melatonin levels in your brain and impact your sleep as well as the quality of your sleep. For me, no doubt one of the things that I've personally seen impact my sleep almost more than anything has been exercise. They say the more vigorous the better and that it also takes time so it'll take months of, of, of doing even light exercise we can really see the benefits of sleeping but for me there's a real direct correlation I mean if I go for a nice hike up the hill, which I can do now, thankfully, or before even just going for light walks, the quality of my sleep is what I notice just improves so much and I sleep so deeply and just wake up refreshed. So exercise, you wanna be doing what you can be doing, even if it's small. As with everything else, diet is also so important for sleep. What you wanna do is eat fairly early in the evening. I actually eat at 5.30, I told you I'm a grandpa. And what you wanna do is stay away from eating big, heavy meals. My biggest meal was my shake in the morning because the lighter you eat at night, the better you're gonna sleep. What you also wanna do is avoid sugary foods and um, refined uh, carbs like white rice and, and white bread and, and pasta. What you also wanna make sure you're doing is staying off of uh, things like caffeine, which will affect your sleep. You probably already know that. And also another thing is not to drink too many liquids in the evening because that will just make you get up and have to go to the toilet during the night and disrupt your sleep. Another thing that I have is actually bedtime snacks. I actually have a little protein bar for bed. I just find that for me, protein really just helps me. And I've also got some little nut bars. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm really hungry, I'll just have a half of one of those and that'll help me get to sleep so easily. I mean, that's just for me. I, that's, I'm just speaking from personal experience. Maybe that's something that'll help you. A huge thing is winding down before bed. If you can set aside a time where you're off of your screens, you're off of stressing, you're able to put your work and, and everything that's in your mind aside, I relax to some quiet, either classical or instrumental worship music, have some essential oils going, have the room nice and dark, just lit a little bit. It just helps to reduce stress. It helps to just slow down the mind too because the more stress that you go to bed, the more uh, angry and different emotions that you might be feeling from your day or worry or overthinking, that's gonna impact you getting to sleep as well as the quality of your sleep. So wind down is so important. Sleep environment is also so important. What you wanna do is to reduce the level of noise when you're going to sleep reduce the level of light, get that room as dark as possible. 
you want to have a comfortable bed, comfortable pillows. You want to have a room which is more to the cool side than the warm side. We sleep better uh, in cooler environments and I know this so much. You might have had the summer where you're just tossing and turning and can't get to sleep. And the other thing is to leave your bed only for sleep. Because if you're conditioning your brain to recognize that bed is for sleep, then it'll get to sleep more easily rather than you doing all your activities on the day, uh, during the day on the bed. And finally a tip, and my dog's just come along now. Oh, he doesn't want to come here. Another tip um, is that for those of you who are struggling to sleep, I had um, chronic insomnia for a few months during my chronic illness and I just could not get to sleep at all. One thing that actually really helped me was to not focus on trying to get to sleep as my goal. That just put more pressure and stress on me but it was just trying to get as relaxed as possible. And even if I was awake, I thought my body is resting and it is still replenishing, so that's okay. And getting that mindset took the pressure off and helped me to sleep. So you wanna make the goal to be as relaxed and as restful as possible. Follow all of these steps and, and methods and let the sleep take care of itself in time as you take the pressure off yourself. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. As I said, I can testify to this. I sleep like a baby every night well, I sleep like the opposite of a baby, to be honest. I don't wake up all the time kicking and screaming and crying. If there's anything that you want to add in the comment section or you have any questions, I'm happy to help you. But this is definitely one area of my life that I've got absolutely under control and I'm happy to chat with you about it further if you want to leave a comment below. I hope that you're so blessed by this video. Take care, good health, and we'll chat soon. <laughs> If you like this video, give it the thumbs up below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to share with your friends.